trackies welcome back to another video here on txt track time please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel please also head on over to our instagram page and give us a follow there as well and trackies i'm not gonna lie the instagram page is popping as of late so come on join in the fun click that link in the description and give us a follow on our instagram page for daily updates thank you all right now tracky is kicking things off with johan blake and officially launching his new venture trackies and this time he steps into water with his new brand riviere now the brand will officially hit the market on november the 1st with plans already in place to target market it's overseas especially in the diaspora the caribbean and china where johan blake continues to be a popular figure now the broader plan is to align the riviere brand with jamaica and caribbean sports culture and life making it the water of choice for home healing training the gym rehearsals events and everyone's life essential drink of water now of course johan blake at his launch had this to say about stepping into this new venture it's really big for me it's really going to change the market in the way not just how people see water but see me on the bottle knowing that through my hard work this water is on the market and me looking to go into a different venture now track is Congrats to Johan Blake on successfully launching this new venture, his Riviere brand of water, and we wish him nothing but, of course, continued success. Now, when we think about Johan Blake, track is this launch of Revere aligns with his personal brand because Johan Blake, no, don't get me wrong, he's an athlete. So automatically you think wellness when you see him, but really and truly his brand is wellness. That is what he talks about day in, day out. So him launching this water brand track is aligns perfectly with his personal brand. And of course, couples well with his Johan Blake rehab and wellness center as well that he also has as a business venture. Now, track is, y'all know, as I said, he's into wellness a lot. And clearly, he's also a philanthropist with his Johan Blake Afraid Foundation as well. So Johan Blake is doing big things and, of course, setting himself up for the future because, again, you know, with track and field, you're not going to be in it for so many years. And he's looking to retire in the near future. So, of course, he wants to ensure that when he retires, he's all set. And who better to have on the bottle than the man himself johan blake being an influencer for his own brand now check is we also did hear that johan blake is looking to partner with michael freighter in the launch of the new club that will be set up since their exit from the titan strat club now not much information can be provided on this venture just yet but look out for that also in the near future so yeah johan blake is doing big big things things into coaching into wellness in terms of of course having his rehab center and of course hitting the markets on november the 1st with his riviere brand so look out for that in the stores and of course support him 100 because i know i will well honestly i've been seeing him with that water bottle for a while and i thought he was actually supporting another brand only to find out that this is actually his own brand so it makes me want to support it even more anyway track is sound off in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts about johan blake launching his revere brand now moving on over to our next story now this one is a little spicy <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And of course, this is about Rashid Broadbell, our 110 meter hurdler starlet. You know, the man we were looking to possibly win the world championship gold this season. And also a 400 meter powerhouse coming up, Stacey Ann Williams, seemingly making their relationship official. Now, check is I became abreast of this potential relationship in the off season when I noticed that both of them seemed to be hitting up the same places on vacation now initially because i'm a bit slow in this department i'm not gonna lie i'm a bit naive here so at first when i saw them hitting up you know the same spot i was like okay you know they're teammates so it's fine they're heading off on vacation together right but then you know i was looking and i'm like hold up but i'm not seeing any other teammates right so that is where i started to say hmm something seems to be budding here right and then also track is it also dawned on me listen 
club training with y'all all day, every day. I don't want to see you on my off season as well. I want to go on vacation with people I actually care about. So with that in mind, I was like, aha, <laughs> I had a light bulb moment in at that moment. And I realized that, oh, this is actually a thing. But at the time, they didn't seem to want the world in their business, you know, aka TXT track time in their business. No, it was just a little picture here, a little picture there, not really highlighting the fact that they seem to be in a relationship. But now track is, no, no, no. Rashid Brabel has hit up his Instagram track is with heart emojis for Stacey and Williams over what seemed to be a dinner date. Now track is, y'all know I love my girls. Yeah, I be loving on my Jamaican girls. And for me, they're all baddies. And Stacy is one of the baddest of all the baddies. I won't lie. So track is Rashid Broadbell copped himself a baddie. No track is clearly, 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 clearly. <laughs> this is going to crush a lot of y'all's hopes and dreams. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, get back to reality. You stood no chance, okay? Track is, no, with that said, you know, track is, I've been seeing a lot of couples making it social media official recently. Yes, there are a lot of track couples out there. I was actually surprised as it relates to how many track couples actually exist. And the last 2023 season was the season for making it official and social media. And Stacey and Rashid Brabel joined the bunch. Join the happy bunch of track couples that are out there. And yeah, I'm wishing them nothing but the best. But I'm really, really excited about them individually when I think about what they can achieve in their individual event. And I'm talking about the men's 110 meter hurdles and of course the women's 400 meters. Now, clearly this has not been the best season for them both. We had Rashid Broadbell falling in the first round in the heat for the men's 110 meter hurdles. Now this clearly was a disappointment for him and of course many including myself. I really felt the pain in that moment because for me it looked like he had an outer body experience because while he was falling it looked like he was trying to get up. You could see you know that in his face and track is all that emotion was clearly transferred to his supporters and of course Stacey Ann had a season and with injury, she was not able to take part in the finals for the women's 400 meters at the Jamaican trials. However, she did go to the world championships and cop herself a silver medal in the women's 4x400 meters. So congrats to her on ending her season on a high, even though she faced her own challenges there. But I'm looking forward to them having a better season in 2024, the Olympic year. Track is now y'all sound off in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts as it relates to Stacey and Rashid. Sheet broad bell like the video of course and subscribe well then again <laughs> never mind y'all shouldn't have any thoughts and opinions because honestly it's their business <laughs> yeah anyway like the video of course and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one bye